It all started yesterday when my podcast co-host Carlos sent me a link to a tweet from Mackenzie Child. Mackenzie Child, if you don't know, is a YouTuber here uh, doing design and code, and he's doing great. And I said, I said back to Carlos, Mackenzie, gosh, that guy, he's killing it right now. He's doing a great job. And Carlos challenged me. He said, what, what, is, what is he doing that's different or better than you uh, on YouTube? And I said, well, yeah, he's doing YouTube. But not only that, he's creating products and courses, and he's selling them. And he's kind of turning it into... A small business and that's something that I've always talked about and always thought about doing but I've never just had the strategy or the inroad or maybe the, the plan I don't know what it was I never I never did it and he challenged me again you know this is why I love Carlos right he's I wrote about him recently in a note and I said Carlos is a frustrating person because he's always challenging me but he's just again challenged me he says why don't you do these things why you, you say you want to do them but Unless you actually do them, you don't really want to do them. You just like to talk about it. And I hate being put in my place. So I said, you know, you're right. In fact, I've been thinking about a series that I want to do for YouTube. And the series is three videos, and it's called Learn jQuery in 15 Minutes. Each video would be five minutes long. And that's the, that's the video series that I plan to release today. I'm not going to release it today. I'm going to release it starting next week. Today, I'm going to talk with you and show you how I plan to take the momentum. Because because imagine 15 minutes and you know jQuery, right? That's a pretty good sales proposition. That's like you would click on those videos, right? I, I'm I'm expecting really good viewership for it. So I want to take the momentum that these videos will give the channel, and I want to transfer them into the opportunity to create an advanced jQuery course. And I'm thinking instead of just covering what is jQuery, how does it work, what do these things do, but how do we build things, uh, project-based lessons, right? How do we build an image slider, a modal, a, a menu system, or a, a court, whatever it is. And so that's, the, that's the, the, the course that I'm thinking of producing and selling, and it will be on the side of Dev Tips. Dev Tips will still be free. Don't worry about all that kind of junk. Every Monday, a free tutorial. That's fine. This would be something different, and it would be jQuery courses that would be good. You know, I have a little bit of experience now doing over 200 videos on YouTube. I think that I can make some courses that would rival anything that you see out there, and 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 better. In fact, I get this kind of request all the time. So. So I'm, I'm gearing myself up, yeah, I should do this. But in order to sell courses, you need a website, you know, like a course, like a, like a sales page, a landing page. And I don't even have a website for, for dev tips proper. Um, I own a few URLs and I haven't really used anything. And dev tips really exists on YouTube and Patreon, but uh, it doesn't have a .com itself. So I thought, okay, if I'm gonna make a landing page for jQuery, I'm gonna need a, a few things. And so I started mapping it out. Here, let me show you my maps. These are my maps. So, so I'm thinking, how would somebody, talking about user journeys now, how would somebody find these courses? Can you see that? Focus, okay. This one is somebody, it says YT, <laughs> what does that say? YT referral. So somebody sees my video on YouTube and then they go directly to a landing page, which is the jQuery sales page. So, so I'd be like talking about, you know, at the end of the video, like, okay, and also I have a course for jQuery, go, you know, go sign up or whatever, go buy it. Um, another opportunity for somebody to be a referral is from the web, the W3. So like somebody finds a link on Twitter or like they hear about it, whatever, it's like designer news, whatever, it's in the web. They're probably gonna end up on the dev tips homepage before they go to the landing page, right? So we have two entry points. Directly, a referral, me telling you to go straight to, you know, .com slash jQuery courses, whatever, or a referral straight to the .com itself, the home page. So home page and landing page, two different things. And then we have, after you fill out the form, a thank you page. So, 
So I was like, at the minimum of what I need to do, I need to, before I even create the courses, if I want to get interest, I need to have people signing up for this and letting me know that they're excited about it. So I need to get names and emails. And how do you do that? You create a form. And I was like, I don't want to create just a Google form. Um, I love Google Forms, but this needs to feel like the production is, is better, is higher, right? Because I want these courses to feel like they're a high production course, and they will be. So I need to create a legitimate landing page. And, uh, and also I need on that landing page a form to collect data, names, and email addresses. And I also need um, a thank you page after they fill in that form. To round out the experience, you know, I can't just have like a .com slash jQuery courses and not even build out a .com. I need the homepage. So I need three pages. Homepage, landing page, thank you page. Thank you for signing up. That's what we're going to do in this video. So you guys remember the the, the 12 hours, the, those like, you know, 18 videos I spent creating my TravisNielsen.com website? Well, this is going to be one video and we're going to create three pages today and I'm going to show you how um, how I, I sketch them out and how we design them uh, in high fidelity designs and code them out. Now, I'm not going to be able to go over every keystroke with you, but I'm going to be pulling out process and principles with you and, and this will be like a higher level learning rather than, you know, in the trenches. So let's start with... Uh, these sketches. So after I made the map of the user journeys, I kind of wrote down the, like the features or the things that will need to be on each page. So for example, on the landing page, we're going to need a good headline. It, it's, it's sales, right? You need a good headline. Learn jQuery, change your life. Something, you know, like something powerful or, or something that speaks directly to what the courses are, but also how they how they really improve your life. So um, it also needs to have a form, right? I need to have that sign up form. It needs to have a description and features. This is so you have the headline and you kind of like smack them in the face of the headline. And then after that, you break down the features and benefits and say this, the course will cover these things and you can use them to do these things, right? This is how you can get a better job. This is how you can impress your clients or whatever it is. And then I thought also it would be great because I'm still going to produce these 15 minute a learn jQuery in 15 minute tutorials and that will start next week. So I thought it'd be great to have a link to those and say like, you want to learn jQuery, but you need to know the basics first. So go get these for free and then come back and purchase them here or whatever. And then, um, and also the landing page itself is interesting because somebody going to the landing page may not necessarily know who I am or what dev tips is. They may not know about the 200 videos on YouTube for free. And so I thought, well, we should also talk about that on the landing page. Um, and that, that's kind of it for the landing page. For the, for the home page, um, I have a few other notes, but let, let, me, let me show you this, the, um, the sketches. So I started with the home page to do sketches and I outlined yellow is home page, blue is landing, green is thank you. So now here, this is the home page and you'll notice that it's mobile first. What I did here on the, on the right is I wrote down a few of the feature sets that would need to be represented on this, um, on this page. So that the top there says hero, the next line says description, this line says top videos. Now this is the J uh, this is the Dev Tips homepage, not the jQuery site. So I thought, oh, the top Dev Tips videos would be kind of cool, like a like a bunch of thumbnails of those, and then and then have a section that represents the jQuery course. That's what that line right there says, jQuery course. And then also because Patreon is such a big part of the Dev Tips experience, we have this community here that's just so awesome that I wanted to represent that on the Dev Tips homepage. Right? This is not the jQuery course landing page. This is a dev tips homepage. So this is a hero, right? It's a video. Maybe I'll take like my, my favorite video. This is like an about section. Like what is dev tips? Um, here are the, the thumbnails of like top videos, you know, like most popular or something. And then continuing on from that, um, here's the jQuery section. I, I like colored it blue because, you know, jQuery blue. And um, 
it's gonna have a form on it. That's the most important part. So like it's like here's a quick sales pitch and a form. And that's on the home page, right? Still on the home page. And then below here is these are this is Patreon and like features and benefits down here and then a, a footer. So it's it's pretty it's pretty like what you'd expect for a for like a home page. We're getting straight to what DevTips is about, how it can help your life, here are the links, go get it. You know? All this needs to be done before Monday and it's Friday night right now. And that means I have two nights to do this because I only I don't work in the daytime on this stuff. I do it only in nights when everybody's sleeping. So the next portion here is the jQuery landing page. So it starts right here, and I outlined it in blue. Like maybe there's like a big sign up here, and then these here are the features. These are like the videos. Like go go look at those 15 minute videos right here and get ready for the jQuery tutorials. And this is like about Dev Tips. Like maybe they landed on the jQuery page. So this is this is continued here, right? See that? So maybe they landed on this jQuery page and they never heard of Dev Tips. Well, here's like about me and about Dev Tips and like what it, what it's all about. And then here is a form again. So I have the form in two places on this one web page, this one landing page where they can sign up, and then a footer down the bottom. All right. So those are my sketches. Right now it's time to do the design. I'm just going to do this kind of like, you know, speed design and then hopefully pull out principles along the way for you. Let's get started. So it all happened yesterday. I got a tweet. <clears throat> you know, it all kind of started. You know, it all. You know. You know, it all really started yesterday. It all happened yesterday when my pod. 